Hey there folks, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This is episode 10, and this week we're gonna talk about one sheet. Hey there, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're gonna have a short episode and it's gonna be an offshoot of the visualization episode that I had a few weeks ago. This is one of my favorite things to do when I get bored of writing what I'm working on. Now I know you shouldn't get bored, but sometimes you do. You're, you're working on a writing project for three, you know, two, three, four months, maybe even a whole year at a time. I once wrote a play over eight years and kept going to other things, coming back to it to try and finish it. However, if you get bored, I have a little secret that I like to do and hopefully it'll help you out as well. So what I do in that situation is I take what I'm working on and I create a one sheet. Now, for those of you who don't know what a one sheet is, a one sheet is a Hollywood term for a movie poster. Clearly, some sort of graphic is going to be attached to your final product, no matter what you're working on. So if it's a novel or a stage play or a screenplay, there's going to be a movie poster, there's going to be some sort of poster on Broadway, if that's what you're aiming for, and there's clearly going to be a cover for your book. Now, creating a one sheet is something that I do when I've been working on something for weeks and I not necessarily get bored. Maybe I do get bored, but things have gotten stagnant. Your creative juices just aren't exactly flowing. This is a nice little trick to help you get through to the next point. Start working on designing a cover for your book or a poster for the movie that you're writing or how you see a big poster in Times Square advertising your Broadway play. Now I know by now you're probably saying, Ben, I'm not a graphic designer, this isn't for me. Well, maybe it's not, but it is really fun to Google images that have to do with your story. So if you Google images that have to do with your story, why not drop it into an app that you can add just a few titles to it? Just add the title of your story by your name, maybe a tagline, those things are fun to put together and it takes a break from the actual writing, which might be stressing you out. So maybe you need just that extra push. Take a break from the writing. Start working on what it's gonna look like if it's published or if it's produced. Just imagine that and it'll help you get to the end, get to that next phase of what you actually have to write. So if you're wondering, how do I even get started with that? All you have to do is do a search in your mobile device's app store and just type in create a poster or, or poster maker. And that's it. And you get a bunch of different options and they're very user friendly and they just will give you what you need just to get some sort of image in your head to help you move on. By now you know I'm all about visualization when I'm working on a writing project. So if you get stuck, just take a moment, step away from the actual words and work on the visuals. Help yourself by creating your book cover, create that movie poster, create that Broadway Times Square poster that everybody's gonna see. And it's just fun. Writing is supposed to be fun. I actually pay for subscriptions to Shutterstock.com and iStockPhoto.com because I use images to help me through whatever I'm writing. I'm not saying you have to do the same thing, but do a Google image search for what you're writing about. I will say that if you're writing something controversial like abortion, you'd be very surprised at the kind of images you get. So be very careful when you go to do that. Once again, you don't have to be some fantastic graphic designer. You're just creating an image to help you visualize what you're writing and get you to the end. Not only does it help you visualize, it'll help you to start thinking about marketing when you actually get to the end of what you're writing. If you would like to know the apps that I use to create my one sheets when I do what I do, Go ahead and email me at benferrellwriter at gmail.com and I'll be glad to tell you. For now, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey there, folks. As promised, we have a new contest period for the next two months. For this contest, what I'd like you to do is write a three-sentence story to go along with the photo that I'm about to show you. And this photo is really weird. Okay, so send in your three sentence story to go along with that picture and all the entries will be put into a raffle and if your name is drawn in that raffle, you'll get a free copy of one of my stage plays. Which stage play are we gonna offer this time? Dadly Intentions. Dadly Intentions, it's the only musical I've ever written. It's actually very funny and if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, where can they go? 
BenFarrellWriter.com. BenFarrellWriter.com. So that's it. Go ahead and get those entries in. I appreciate you hanging out with us. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. And stay safe and keep watching your videos. Keep watching those videos. Bye.